So we have Tempo, uh, we're going Joker, and Hayden playing Game & Watch. So I know Tempo plays a lot of uh, low map, but uh, maybe he feels that this matchup is a little better for him as Joker. And uh, already showing what this character can do in terms of camping by just sitting back and shooting those guns, forcing Paper to approach him. Uh, a lot of Game & Watches just want you to come up, hit their shield, and then get that up B or, or, or anything. Or if they use the down smash, which comes out so fast. But Tempo forcing the approach here, which uh, showing he understands this matchup pretty well. Um, and yeah, Paper pulling the trigger on that up B just a little too soon there. Um, all right. So, okay, I like uh, how Paper anticipated the guns. He used the dash attack to get under it. Um, a lot of moves that shift your hitbox um, are actually really good in this game because they can allow you to get punishes. Like a lot of, there's a, quite a few uh, F smash moves or something where your character will reel back um, and move your hitbox away. So if you anticipate an attack, you can uh, counter it that way. Oh no. Tempo getting a little carried away there. And uh, I guess, you know, once you have Arsene out, it just can be uh, can be very empowering. You think, I am so strong, I have these huge hitboxes, I have this huge da damage output, ow damage output, and then um, you, you think you're invincible and you find out that uh, while this, your damage output is much stronger, you are still just as vulnerable to die. But uh, Tempo yeah. firing back pretty well here. She's already got Game yeah. Watch at 90. Game Watch is very light, so I just got any move to uh, the kill, and that one uh, did more than enough. F smash on the ledge, beating out that back air. That turtle is a big hitbox, but so is that F smash. I'm mean, uh, sending it out. Uh, let's see how much damage that turtle can rack up while he has us. It's pretty important for him because he's down right now. And uh, he might just die to him. Yes, he is. Good. Great edge guard coming out from paper. Uh, he can recover so... Good lord, that almost killed. Um, I'm kind of... I'm conflicted on that one because I'm kind of mad it didn't because he got the 9, but at the same time, uh, to die at 0 to that is... Uh, you gotta feel bad. Man. Or feels bad, man. In the chat, please. Let him know. Let him know, guys. Okay, I actually thought he died there. But uh, no, making it back. Uh, Temple's in a rough spot here. He's got one stock. He's already lapped and turned to percent here. Um, you can see uh, Paper here just hungry for the kill. He's ready. Still building this percent, but he hasn't found his kill mode. Oh yeah, and Fair actually is a really strong kill mode. Uh, if Tempo, uh, sorry, if Paper Lantern is definitely on this game. Uh, with just about any other move right now because the percent is so high and killing it him with the fishbowl, uh, not expected. Uh, that move doesn't have too much kill power, but he was at 170 and he got that on top of the platform. Uh, that move does have a huge hitbox. It's great for comboing, and we saw Paper use it to get that kill. So clever use of that, that move. Mr. And watch. And we're going to game two. Um, I wonder if we'll see the map come out. Yes, we are seeing the map. Big map. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems like uh, Mac. His strength is really frame data. Like his, a lot of his moves come out so quickly, uh, but you need to be kind of close to your opponent. So the the shield game that Paper can do, like because Game Watch is good out of shield, and, you know, can approach and put out his shield. Um, it seems to me that uh, this matchup is probably not as as good as the Joker matchup, but it's what Temple knows, and it's, it's good for him for sticking to it, because I think uh, that was Joker match is looking at it right. um, And already, we're seeing this game is even right now. And of course, Game & Watch being so light, uh, I feel like 
you only need a few openings uh -oh. with uh, with Wool Mash. Because his, I mean, at, at this percent, the ledge of S Mash will kill for sure. Uh, of course, it will lose my tail there for tempo, but, uh, yeah. Well, we're seeing, so back air, <laughs> closing out that stuff. Uh, yeah, that's where this character, of course, struggles, has always struggled, is off stage. He covers a little better now, but he still uh, is vulnerable to those big hitboxes. Um, and, uh, you know, that turtle beating out the back, uh, the, sorry, the side view there. Right. Oh yeah, great tool to control this in the paper box. And uh, we're seeing paper start to run away with this one. Uh, okay, that interesting interaction there. The armor uh, allowing him to not get hit by that dash attack, but still uh, take the move off. Yeah, okay. So risk, rough spot there for paper. He managed to burn the KO punch though, but he's still going to die to the down, down tilt up the uh, the window for that move is not as big as in Smash 4, but it still works in this game, as we saw right there. And uh, Game & Watch being so light, he definitely dies from that uh, early. So Tempo is kind of back in this game because... Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, wow, he used the up to, to cover that option there. That was great from Paper. Uh, but yeah, I was going to say that with Rage, um, ooh, uh, <laughs> with the Rage, Mac is scary, especially if you are playing a very light character like Game & Watch. You have to be really careful. Temple playing is very patiently. Okay, down tilt the side beat. Paper is now getting to a big kill range. And, or he could just die to that S Mac there. Paper expecting to fight. Oh no, if you're paper now, you are sweating bullets because this KO punch could kill you any minute. It beats shield and it's gone. It's gone. But he's not out of the woods yet. Like I mentioned before, uh, max damage out is pretty big uh, just because his moves hit so hard. Uh, I mean, this is still pretty much even at this point. Uh, the thing is, Tempo just needs to Ooh, ooh, down tilt there. I was going to say he needs to hold center stage there to try to stay alive and make sure he doesn't get knocked off stage and edge guarded, but he's just going to die anyway to down tilt. 